Ever wondered how to bypass geoblocks, automate accounts, or just protect your privacy online? In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to walk you through proxy for use, setup, features, and best practices. Let's dive into it. So this is a proxy for you. And if you don't know what a proxy is, it basically acts as a middleman between your device and the internet. This basically is what's called masking your IP. The use cases for this are pretty straightforward, such as web scraping, ad verification, geo testing, SEO tools, and of course, multi-accounting. Now, if you don't know what any of that is, do not worry, because I'm gonna show you one of these use cases in this video. But to start with, all we're gonna do is press get started here and go to the sign up screen. Next, super simple, all you gotta do is type in your name, email, password, company name, how they contact you, and of course your use case. Now we've talked about some of the use cases here, so if any of these apply, then just hit one of these. If not, press other, and then you can learn with me throughout the video. Now, if you do know what you're using this for, it's important to note that proxy for you basically provides everything any proxy service does, but they do it at the cheapest price on the internet. So for me, someone that uses proxies for various different things, such as SEO scraping and reselling, this is a great opportunity because it's just cheaper than anything else out there and you get what you ask for. So once you've signed up, smash the verify email button in your email like so, and then you can go to the login screen. Then you just type in all of your details here, press login, and you will be sent to the dashboard. Now this is where you're gonna get all of the information for your proxies and you're gonna to need to take note of this because you're gonna to need to copy them and then paste them into the platform that you're using. But not to worry guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. But what's important here is this is the dashboard where you get to see all of your usage as well as the memory that you have left. So you can see I've got one gigabyte left on residential, I have one gigabyte on mobile and one on data center. Now, if you are familiar with proxies, these guys actually have over 5 million different IPs in over 195 different countries. So that is fantastic. If we do want to have different countries here, we can see all of the ones available, just tons and tons to choose from. So let's make a proxy here. So here we are in our proxy for you dashboard, and we're gonna go with a residential proxy. What that means is it's basically just gonna give us IP addresses from a residential area, so it's less likely to be flagged as a bot. And let's say we're targeting the United States here, we can go and press that, and we can exclude countries as well if we wanted to, so we could exclude Germany, Brazil if we wanted to, but we'll leave that for now. Then we're gonna go down to rotation interval. So basically this is a timer and every 25 seconds, for example, it's going to rotate our IP address into a different one. So if you are scraping or you're doing things online, it's a great way to basically have your IP changing. So it's a lot easier to navigate and not be flagged as a bot. I would also recommend using sticky instead of rotating just because it's slightly better. I'd also recommend with your extra configuration DNS host name, we're going to go with sticky here because it is just slightly better from my experience. Now from that point, we're going to hit save configuration and that's just going to copy this little section of text here to our dashboard. So from that point, our proxy is set up. And what we're going to do is actually use GLARC for this because these guys do offer basically the ability to use phones in the cloud with their platform. So let's bring that up now. Guys, this video is sponsored by PrimeLink. Now, PrimeLink is definitely something you should be using because you get backlinks, you get QR codes, you get analytics, and much more. So definitely check out PrimeLink in the description. Let's get back to the video. So here we are in our GLARC account, and with the proxy copied to our dashboard right now, what we're gonna do is go down to resources, and then we're gonna go with configure proxy. And from this screen, we're going to make sure IP2 location is selected and the type is going to be HTTP. And you're also probably going to want to create a proxy group. So let's go and name this USA proxies. 
simply because that's where our proxies are. So add USA proxies. And this box here is basically going to be where you paste in what we copied before. So let's just paste that in. You can see it's exactly the same as we copied before. And if we scroll down, these are the proxies. So from that point, we can see all the proxies are here. Let's just press OK. And then if we tick this and we press check proxy, it's then going to scan this proxy, as you can see here, just to make sure it's working. And yes, this little green icon here does mean that it is a working proxy. So that is fantastic. Now, using GLARC, you want to go to new profile here. And we can see here that, yes, we can create a new profile. So let's just go with USA profiles. We can also select whether we want to use a Android or an Apple operating system, but the Apple is obviously under development right now. Now, normally you would have to go in and actually fill out the username and password and all of this stuff, which isn't actually that hard to do. But because we made that group earlier, what we can do instead is go to the saved button here and then press this little icon here. And we can see we have our USA proxies right here. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to go over to this section and then click on that too. We can see our USA proxy. So select that, check proxy, and you can see that little tick means that everything has gone according to plan. We're currently in Boston right now with this IP address. And as we said, we set this up to rotate every 25 minutes. So that will actually rotate for us, which is fantastic. Now, scrolling to the bottom, we can also select which version of Android we want to use. So if it's an older version, Android 9 or Android 15, it's really up to you, depending on what you're using these proxies for. We also have the option to use bulk here in the top right. If we did want to use multiple IP addresses and multiple different applications and phones in the cloud. Now, why exactly would we be using proxies? Because I've shown you one example here today and how to set it up, but there are a few different reasons why you might want to use one. For example, you could access geolocated content with a proxy IP from another country, which basically means that yes, your real IP will be hidden. Also, if you are a business and you want to scrape leads from certain areas, you're going to have restrictions if you're in one country with an IP and you want to get leads from a different country. So using a proxy and scraping, as well as having that rotating or using a residential IP can be very beneficial to get past all of those bot detection systems from the social media algorithms. Now, it's also worth noting that proxy for you does just do whatever any other proxy service does. But from my experience, it's just far cheaper. You've got this pay as you go system, so you don't get all of these hidden fees. And it's just something that I find very easy to set up. All the info is there. And as you've seen in this video, it was very, very straightforward. They're also very highly rated on Trustpilot with a 4.6 to 4.8 out of 5. And users have actually said that support has answered in 10 minutes or less. And the free trial that they offer has worked better than their last paid proxy. So if you do want a free trial, definitely check this out because with the link in the description, guys, you can get a free trial to proxy for you very, very easily. And they give you some data to get you set up. So it's worth just checking it out and testing. So if you do want to try it, use the link in the description, guys. But that is going to be it from me. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Comment if you have any questions. I will be happy to answer them for you. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and start your free trial today.